whichever one of you it was that asked for another Ford excursion on console, look at this. You asked for this. Are you proud of yourselves? I hope you are. I hope you are. But all jokes aside, let's go ahead and fire up the power joke V8 that powers this thing. And I guess just see what it's all about. See what it can do. We'll get it into the garage. We'll go through the customization options and then we'll see if it's, well, honestly, any fun to drive, any good off-road, and I'm, I'm sure it's going to be, especially when you look through the creator's um, own personal mod catalog. They've made some good stuff. Also, just to get it out of the way, if you do want to skip the customization and go directly to the driving, um, which is going to be a little bit later on in the video, feel free to do that. Although, I, it's like, it's one of those things where um, some people are bothered occasionally by the fact that the customization is first. And if you don't want to watch the customization, you genuinely don't have to. You can skip directly ahead to the driving and it will not hurt my feelings. So let's go ahead and go through some of the customization options. So let's see, small displacement V8, slightly larger displacement V8, and then you get the 5.8 liter, which is kind of funny because I feel like, I feel like the fact that you have the quote unquote power joke badge on the side of this thing, I would expect to at least have access to like a 7.3 liter. But then again, I mean, it's entirely up to um, really whatever the mod creator wants to do with it. So let's go ahead and throw the top engine in there. And then let's see, I'm just going to do the classic four speed off road because that's kind of what we're going to be doing in this video. And then let's see, we've got stock. We've got a large, actually a really large lift kit. Okay. And then tuned custom and then another tuned custom, which is essentially that one's kind of a monster suspension. So I'll probably end up messing with that one a little bit later. Um, for now, this one's probably going to be a little more flex focused. So we'll go with that and then we'll kind of see what else we can do later down the road. And I'll probably throw the taller suspension on there at a later date. But honestly, for now, I'm not going to worry about it because it's not really, it's not really going to apply very well to pretty much anything that we're going to do on this map. It's going to flip over if we try to run that. Like I guarantee it's going to flip over with pretty much zero warning. So let's find something in terms of tires that's going to be halfway decent on rocks. Let's see. What do we... Mm, I'm a little back and forth. I'm, a, I'm actually very back and forth because a lot of these tires are a little bit more mud focused. At least they seem to be a little bit more mud focused. So I'll probably go with something that's as close as I can get to a rock tire. Hmm. Honestly, I'm still so all over the place. I'm still genuinely so all over the place about what tires I want to run on it. I tell you what, let's go about eh, halfway or so down into the 39 inch um, off road tires. And then we'll just kind of pick something from that size category or size range and then go from there. I definitely like these well enough. Eh, we'll go with those. We'll see how they do. And then let's see. Small roof rack. Wait. Why are they the same? They're the same rack and the same price? That doesn't really make any sense, but... I don't know if there's any difference at all between the two. So I'm just going to run, I'm just going to run the top option and send it with that. Now let's see, alt rear bumper. It doesn't actually show me in the camera. It doesn't automatically pan around, but that's kind of about what I expected it would look like. Oh, that looks really good. That looks really, really good. And then now, oh, wow. That's... Okay, that's actually an enormous selection of wheels. Okay. I think... I actually think I might go with these. These look sick. Believe it or not, those are the same wheels that I also put on the same creator's rock bouncer not too long ago. So they're good wheels and they go on just about whatever you want to put them on. 
There's honestly a lot of good paint colors, but I'm gonna have to stick with the red. The red looks so good. Oh, I can't put beans on the dash. That makes me sad. That makes me really sad. Oh, this suspension feels super floaty. Like floaty enough that it's probably going to have pretty dang good flex. Easy. Did anybody else see that rear hub just like break itself? Because that rear hub was like not having a good time. It literally decided it did not want to be here. You're definitely not going to get much speed out of that uh, four-speed transmission. That's for sure. Tell you what. I never take this trail. I legitimately never take it. So we're going to see. Oh, come on. Oh, full-time lockers. That's convenient. You know what isn't convenient? All of these freaking loose rocks in the middle of the trail. Why is... Why is that vibrating uncontrollably? I feel like that's about to explode. I legitimately feel like that's about to explode at any time, and it scares the crap out of me. Oh! Honestly, taking this thing down a trail is like driving a bus. It's, it's pretty dang close. It's like throw a lift and some off-road tires on a bus and that's pretty much the off-roading experience you get out of this excursion. It's definitely a momentum rig though. Like once you get that momentum going, you're definitely going to be in a better place throughout your like basically entire run up any obstacle. It will absolutely throw itself, though. That's kind of like... <gasps> you gotta watch, the, like, the way the weight will kind of pitch around on you. Because while it is capable, it can definitely get itself into trouble really fast. What in the... Um, easy? Maybe. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Use that step as a slider. It's fine. It totally isn't going to rip directly off. Steps like that would not last a second on a trail like this. They would just be... They would be toast... It definitely gives you more of that, like, kind of chilled out experience. It's somewhere in, in terms of capability anyway, it's somewhere in between um, what I would consider a vanilla truck to drive like, and then what I would also consider, like, a more, a more, like, tuned up trail rig to drive like. This is somewhere in between those two. And that's definitely not a bad thing. I know that some people would take that as being a bad thing. It's not. It's actually a really fun and well-balanced feeling rig to drive. Oh, you've got it. Oh, come on. You've got it. Almost there. There we go. It's definitely like a sit back and relax and just drive it kind of vehicle. Ooh. And so long as you watch out for impending scenarios like that, you'll be okay. Now that goes back down. Hmm. I want to keep climbing the mountain, but I want to get out of like the darkness because this entire side of the mountain, like the trail is fun, but it's all dark, you know? I 
love how the suspension is tuned, though. It feels really realistic. Honestly, it feels realistic enough that I would put this right up there with a lot of the other, like, genuinely realism-focused mods. The tires are handling the mud really, really well, too. Where is... Um... Oh! So... Yeah, the trail's just that overgrown here. Huh. It shows on the map as this being the trail. It doesn't really look like a trail to me, but all right. Now, I do know where this is. I don't come up here very often, but I do 100% know where we're at. So let's see. I think I'm going to stay to the left because that'll allow us to get all the way up on top of the mountain. One thing that is strange about this rig, though, is that every time I click the change view button, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't even go into, like, a hood cam. So if you're into... If you're into first-person gameplay, I... You're not gonna find any in this, uh, in this truck. Where is... Oh! Oh, I see. I promise we'll get to the top of this hill eventually. Almost there. Almost there. Now, my only question at this point is, do we take the fast way down? Eh. We might as well, right? I don't know if we're even going to be able to get over the rocks to actually go the fast way down. Honestly, that was a lot less dramatic than I was anticipating it would be. Um, I expected it to be a whole hell of a lot more dramatic than that. But if y'all enjoyed this look at this brand new mod, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all next time.